Welcome to City at Sunflower Sunday. Hi everyone, on behalf of the CDH Australia Board and Volunteers, I'd like to welcome you to CDH Sunflower Sunday. For those who don't know me, I'm Courtney Vodopik, the current President of CDH Australia. Our oldest daughter Lucy was born with CDH and our family's been lucky to be involved with this community since 2014. So I'm honoured to introduce our special online event video this year. Today we reflect on the struggles and triumphs of all families facing congenital diaphragmatic hernia. We also celebrate the parents, the family, the friends and the volunteers who create a compassionate and safe environment in our online support groups. We know many lifelong friendships are forged within our community and today is the perfect day to say thank you for being there when we need you the most. Although we can't be together in person, I like to think that we all have a lovely sense of community and hope because of course connection with each other is particularly important this year when so many of us have felt so isolated at different times. The impact of CDH can be overwhelming at any time, but even more so during this pandemic. So please remember that we're all with you here today and always. As is traditional, we'll be blowing bubbles soon for everyone who is on their CDH journey and for the hundred or so new families who'll receive a CDH diagnosis this year. As you spend today with loved ones at home or online, please share your special moments using the hashtag CDHSFS because today is our National Awareness Day, but it's also our flagship fundraising event to encourage the donations that we desperately need to try and conquer CDH for good. Sharing your story today will help us to create a brighter future for all families in our community. I'd like to acknowledge the very special families who have fundraised or donated already this year. It has been a tough year for everyone and your support means that we can continue to deliver our services to families at all stage of their CDH journey. You're also helping us to plan for future medical research and equipment. Your contribution positively impacts many lives and we're incredibly grateful. We're also very proud that our fundraising efforts in previous years have given us the opportunity to dedicate funds to medical research and equipment. CDH treatment breakthroughs, like the benefits of delayed umbilical cord clamping, show that life-saving solutions can be revealed through medical research. CDH Australia is incredibly proud to have provided $30,000 towards this discovery. And more recently, we donated a further $30,000 to the Hudson Institute for Medical Research at Monash University to purchase a Concord table for a global medical trial. The Concord table will improve treatment for babies who need support at birth by providing life-saving care with the umbilical cord still intact. Our contribution of this equipment will accelerate progress in the trial and provide vital experience to Australian clinicians when they're treating babies born with CDH. Of course, the pressure of coronavirus this year has meant that we, like many charities, have experienced a, a reduction in the donations needed for us to fund medical research and equipment into the future. Your support this year will help us in the search for better treatments and will also help families who are doing it tough right now. Every donation counts. We're all here because congenital diaphragmatic hernia has touched our lives in some way. Some families are grateful for a thriving CDH survivor. Others are remembering the loss of a darling angel. Many families are living with the challenge of managing ongoing complications and treatment. We also acknowledge the expectant parents who may be joining us for the first time. We're here to support you no matter the stage of your CDH journey. On behalf of the CDH Australia Board, I offer my deepest thanks to you all for such an incredible show of support today. Thanks for painting the town yellow. We believe strongly in our vision for no family to face CDH alone. Please continue to share your special moments from today to help us to raise awareness and vital funds. Thank you for coming together to spend the day with us and for helping to conquer CDH together.
In 1987, I was born in the UK with undiagnosed CDH. Within a few hours of being born, one of the midwives noticed that something wasn't quite right. And after a quick scan, I was diagnosed with the first case of congenital diaphragmatic hernia that that hospital had ever seen. Within 16 hours of being born, I had been rushed to a much larger hospital for emergency surgery, where my family were told the chance of survival is well below 50%. This must have been a terrifying time for my family as the condition wasn't well known at the time. Thankfully, the surgery went well. While I was in the hospital, my mum noticed that the other babies in their incubators and in the ward had lovely soft toys with them. So my mum went and bought me Olaf the koala. He was bigger than me in my incubator at the time. Not so now, but he still stays with me every night as a constant reminder of how lucky I am. After two weeks in the incubator, I was sent home. CDH support groups, the internet, social media didn't exist in the late 80s. So off you go and good luck is pretty much how my parents worked through their CDH experience. Thankfully, there were no further complications, which means I was on the very lucky end of the spectrum in terms of treatment and after effects. As a child, I had an active disposition and developed a decent enough set of lungs. I was able to play sport without too much issue, other than being slightly wheezy at times. Since then, I've taken my love of being active to levels that my parents must have never thought possible when they first received the diagnosis. Over the years, I've participated in ultramarathons, cross-continent cycles, triathlons and various fitness challenges. I'm also now a volunteer surf lifesaver at the famous Bondi Beach. As an adult, I now see straight through my scar and don't even notice it in the mirror. My family has never really spoken about CDH and being undiagnosed during pregnancy means it must have been a very scary and unexpected time for them. Up until last year, I'd never even met another person who had been diagnosed with CDH. It's fantastic that families now have access to the information and support they need through their CDH journeys. The advances in knowledge, treatment, research and understanding give me great comfort. And as a CDH survivor, it was my privilege to join the CDH Australia board in 2019. I'm very proud to be involved so that no family has to face CDH alone. Although my story has a positive outcome, this is not the case for many babies diagnosed with CDH. Join me this November in raising awareness for CDH and let's conquer CDH together. We all know people who care. We value what these generous people offer others. They bring caregiving down to its essentials. They offer not abstract ideas, but personal attention. Not definitive answers, but reasonable assurance. Not empty platitudes, but authentic hope. We understand what they do is both deceptively simple and unusually difficult. For their task is to offer those who so need it something irreplaceable, their own humanness. They bestow a priceless gift, only themselves and all of themselves. 
They approach the other holding out what they have to offer, their sensitivity, their hope, their dedication. They bring into the open what they choose not to hide, their honesty, their woundedness, their compassion. What these empathetic people do requires real courage, for they do not know how they will be received or if they will be understood. What they give requires great perseverance, for healing is a time-consuming process and staying with others in their pain is a challenging experience. But if these souls did not perform their roles in the way they do, then in a very real sense, our community would not be made real. The love would not be made genuine. Yet because such committed caregivers are among us, we know the world is not just a better place, but ours is a better time and we are better people. We know that because those who truly care show us day after day. Today's goal is to raise awareness of congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH as we know it. We reflect on the struggles and triumphs that families face dealing with CDH. We also celebrate the friendships that have blossomed through our vision of no family to face CDH alone. Raising awareness is important because by educating the wider community, we increase our chances of gaining funding for research, which hopefully one day will lead to a cure. Currently, there is no known cause or cure for CDH. Today is a dedication to all babies born with CDH, whether in our arms or in our hearts. We remember them for their fighting spirits, their preciousness and their gift of love. We'd now like to invite everyone to join us in blowing bubbles to honour our CDH children. Thank you again for being part of CDH Sunflower Sunday. Today on CDH Sunflower Sunday, we pay special respect to the families of our darling CDH angels. We've been forced to let go of the children we would have held. We remember our sweet loved ones who have left our arms, but not our hearts. As we blow our bubbles, we send forth a message to the world. Our babies were wanted, were real, are loved, grieved, and remembered. To one another, the message is, you are not alone. With support, we survive and we grow. To our beloved angels, we remember you, we miss you, and most of all, we love you.